Hey everyone and welcome to 1.21 Gigawatts, I am Peter, that is Connor, and we talk about movies on this show, um, new movies specifically, and on this episode we are talking about the third and final part of this trilogy in the Godzilla series, this is Godzilla the Planet Eater, uh, we did the first two last year, yeah, the, last, the first one was like January last year and then it was the second one was sometime in the summer I think. Yes, the been about six months apart. Uh, these are animated uh, Japanese films. Uh, they come out in Japan a bit earlier and they go out everywhere else on Netflix a little bit later. Uh, so this is the final part of this trilogy. Uh, and our opinions of the first two were vaguely positive. Not not like knock out the park or anything. No, but we enjoyed them. Yeah, to a point. I, I, think, I think I had problems with both, but I, I ultimately had enough to like. I thought they looked I pretty nice. You know. I think the second one was pretty better. Um, but we'll start spoiler free for this one and then we'll give you a warning in the middle before we go into spoilers um, also worth mentioning we'll just, I'll plug this now uh, we have been gradually over the last two years working through the classic Godzilla movies uh, the last one we did was Godzilla vs Megalon there's a playlist I'll make sure it pops out in the corner maybe not right now but around here soon um, and you can check out all of our other Godzilla reviews which will continue um, until they're complete however long it takes however long that may take um so, uh, the planet here. So, we had the tease, of course. So, obviously, no spoilers yet for this one, but I do have to at least say the second one did tease the arrival of a certain Ghidorah in, in this one. And did. this movie kind of is a lot of the build-up to the the arrival of said Ghidorah and kind of dealing with the, the crushing defeat that Godzilla can't be killed because they tried really hard in the last one for the second time and ultimately he's like, nah, he's, he's asleep, but... <laughs> He's coming back. He's not dead. I mean, that's Godzilla in a nutshell, isn't it? That's basically that. Um, and that's kind of it. That's really all I can say without spoilers. <laughs> yeah, this this in terms of this discussion being spoiler free, it suffers from it's the third part of a trilogy, right? Yeah. It's the conclusion to that stuff. It's it's hard to say much more. Pretty much. That's kind of kind of what I'd say. So I guess we can just start talking about the quality and how we feel about it. So what did you think of the third one? Eh, it's easily mm-hmm. my least favorite of the three. I think it it focuses a lot more on the human story, which has been the weakest part of the trilogy throughout, and doesn't deliver on the monster action that the first two did, and especially what this one was should have been building up to. Yeah, it's easily the, the weakest one. I... I almost flat out dislike it because I, I I liked it up until a point when it was building to Ghidorah. I was kind of into it. I was like, yeah, we're building like because there's, there's a lot of you know uh, allusions to Ghidorah being a god, right? And they're talking about God coming, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm into this. There's a fantastic moment with it being like a cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but once things actually get going, there isn't even really a fight between Godzilla and Ghidorah. I would argue that real Ghidorah never really shows up. And yeah. on top of that, it, it deals more with, like you said, the human drama. Most of the, the actual climactic final fight essentially takes place in someone's head as yeah. they like see and are told various things and it's about the human condition. And honestly, I would describe this one as going full anime. And what I mean by that is that it becomes this, this dump of exposition nonsense to explain what they're doing. And... It's so not riveting. It is tedious to the point where I fell asleep twice watching this once it got to this point. I didn't, but I can't blame you. It's this kind of crap when, when, when you know, we were, again, I won't mention exactly what's going on yet because we're not in spoilers, but when we were in the head, right, and we're just talking about what, what life means and what gods are and all this shit, I was just zoning out. I did not give a shit about a single word that was being said. It was all just nonsense. It was gobbledygook. As- yeah, there's interesting ideas in there. There is, but the way it's portrayed is boring. I, I and, feel... uh, and and I like anime a lot more than you do, so I wouldn't. You know, you yeah. say oh, it goes full anime. I wouldn't categorize this as oh, a going anime because I like a lot of anime things. This is what I dislike uh, about anime. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Th- I I feel like you've been watching the wrong anime. I think the the, the only bad anime does this. Don't say you're watching like it's ongoing. <laughs> That's just true. Okay, I I think you watched the wrong things um, because only bad anime. People love Akira. My... Don't don't you get tell me that Akira is not supposed to be well loved? Uh, Akira's pretty good. <laughs> convoluted mess. Aki- convoluted, sure, but not a mess. Convoluted mess. Uh, I I think Akira does a lot better than this movie. Does. Here's the thing, like 
I think this had to be much simpler, but at the same time, it, it it's overcomplicating something that's not actually that complicated. I think this movie thinks it's much smarter and profound than what it oh, actually is doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the the end result is that it just comes off as gobbledygook. That is the best phrase I can dis- d- d- use to describe most of the third act of this movie. It, it when doesn't it sh- have any weight to it. When when it should be Godzilla and Ghidorah bashing each other hard. Because I thought because I thought what was going to happen in this movie is that. Is that uh, Hario, the main character, was going because he he's been like you know hating Godzilla. You know he's he's been vengeful about Godzilla. He's been determined to a fault. Yeah, that's and, been the trilogy, right? And I thought the ultimate thing in this movie was going to be that he would learn that Godzilla is because because the because the one thing one of the things I liked about this movie is that it's the first one that kind of implied you no know, Godzilla is our fault. Humanity is to blame for Godzilla. Yes. And. I thought with the realization of that that Hario would eventually understand that Godzilla is a natural consequence of his own, like not him personally, but humanity as a whole. And because of that, bringing in the evil Ghidorah, right, would ultimately mean that he would respect the Godzilla's here to actually protect Earth. Because Ghidorah's whole thing is that he's the planet eater. He's going to yeah, <laughs> take there's, it. Yeah, there's some really interesting concepts of the idea that, you know, there's a character that's like, hey, Godzilla's not evil. Godzilla's not a monster. But. It is as long as humanity exists, because that is our perception of Godzilla, right? Mm. And I really thought, no, 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 this is going to challenge that. This is going to make it so Godzilla's not just a monster, yeah, right? Yeah, he's neutral. He's, he doesn't care. He, he's a force of nature, right? Yeah. He, he isn't good or bad. He just is. Yeah, because like someone says, um, um, you know, why do you hate Godzilla? And he says, oh, because he's, he's dangerous and destructive. He's like, yeah, so is, a, so is a tornado and a storm, but I don't hate tornadoes and storms. They just are. <laughs> Yeah, you you can be scared of them. Yeah, you can you can be angry when they happen, but you can't hate them for happening. They they're not choosing to do that, right? There's there's no yeah. consciousness of a storm going. Oh oh, I'm gonna go destroy there. Yeah, it's like, it's like being mad at a like a I don't know. Pick an animal. Pick pick a big animal who does things. <laughs> like you know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's hungry. It eats. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, it, it's like being mad at a human being for stepping on an ant. You don't get mad at them for that. <laughs> not unless they're, they're actively doing it intentionally. That's kind of dickish, I suppose. But, yeah, but you're not. Like, you're walking down the street. You happen to yeah, step yeah, on an ant. No one gives a yeah. shit. No one's blaming you for it. No, exactly. It's too small and insignificant to notice. Um, yeah, and Godzilla feels the same way about us. And if ants started, like you know, using little planes to try and shoot at you, you would, yeah, you'd squat them. <laughs> you'd be like, no, piss off. <laughs> you really would, yeah. <laughs> like, no, and do you know why you do that? Because they're called mosquitoes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so, like, yeah, there's some fine ideas in there, but ultimately it boils down to a lot of garbage, <laughs> and it, it doesn't does. even give us the fight that we want. Like, you know, because it, it starts to kick off. Godzilla uses atomic breath, and I thought it was building up to maybe Harry'll making the wrong choice, and maybe because because it's not because Ghidorah doesn't really show up. It's kind of like like Avatar Ghidorah <laughs> in a weird way, and yeah. then. I thought that Hario, they keep talking about Hario being the key that could let Ghidorah in, which I hated all that chosen one shit. Uh, right? Yeah. Right? But, like, I thought that he was going to make the wrong choice, real Ghidorah would show up, and then he would learn, that like, no, wait, I have to say with Godzilla. We have to work together to stop this thing. And that could be a big final fight. And maybe that's more typical and generic, admittedly, but it would be satisfying. <laughs> it would. You know, that's, this, this movie is frustrating, because there are so many points of this movie where I'm like, oh, I really like this as a concept. Let's go down that path. And then it just doesn't. And it just frustrates the hell out of me and does something stupid instead. Do you know what's so weird about this? Is that the movie's been... The, the trilogy's been building up to, like, you know, Ghidorah, right? And it's been building up. And the first two did not skimp on the fighting, right? It, it, it took a long time in the movies themselves to get there. You know, it saved it for the third act. But it That's went, fair enough, right? But it went all out when it did it. And somehow this whole... This trilogy now feels like a giant blue balls. Because this third yes. movie doesn't have that. Yeah. I like, and... I it's still weird. like the first two movies. I do. I still think they're good movies. But as a trilogy, I'm probably never going to rewatch them now because this one just shat the end in a way. Yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a complete whiff. Um, but by the time it ended, I, I just didn't like because the actual ending scenes as well. I think are just terrible. I, I, I'm like, what? What's happening? Yeah, yeah. the justified. bit where it goes all freeze frame. Yeah, do you know what's funny? Because if that was the ending, it was like an epilogue, and it started saying text, I, I would have given them it. But it goes back to regular animation after it, and all I can think was, "Oh, that saved a, a few million, <laughs> just doing a couple of single frames for for like five minutes." Yeah, it, it went to freeze frame, and I went, 
oh, I guess this is the epilogue. I guess we're done yeah. now. And then I checked the time, and there was still, like, 18 minutes left. I'm like, these credits can't be this long. And it wasn't even, like, that much time passed. Because sometimes you'll do that to show that time is passing. But it was, yeah. like, a week later. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't understand the decisions in this movie, frankly. Um, yeah. I mean, it still looks very pretty, so I can't call the movie outright garbage. But I think the script is outright garbage. I agree with that. So, disappointing. Uh, let's give the spoiler warning. I want to talk about shit. So, full spoilers. I, I want to talk about something first. For Planet Year. But go on. Where the hell was Mothra? Mothra was teased in that second movie. It's like, oh, okay. She's teased in this one. You even see, no, I think you even no, see the I cocoon know. at one point. I know, I know. But that's my point. Is It was teased from the second movie. And then there's bits in this movie where it's like, oh, okay, we're doing yeah, it. When he's doing and then the whole, it just doesn't. When he's doing the whole main trip thing, at one point he sees Mothra flying towards him. Like he saw Ghidorah. That count. And I know it doesn't count. I'm saying that. This is, this is, I'm adding to this that like they tease that as if we're going. To, it's the same with Ghidorah. A couple of times he has a vision of the real Ghidorah flying towards him, but instead all we ever get is these not, not holograms, but like it's like magical manifestations of the three heads that are all separate as well. They are coming through separate portals. I did love the the scene with the the cult summoning Ghidorah through the you know, and opening the first portal. I, know, I like that too. Everything up until that point I was kind of into because because the, the opening, like I don't know how I would have felt about the god like the, the god stuff like everyone's turning to believe in God because things are so dire because that felt quite abrupt. But I think it worked because the opening prologue scene was we kind of exp almost like give you the concept and said hey people start worshiping gods and monsters because of this and that and I, it, it it laid it out for me why this was why it was and doing this. Do you know what's important as well to know? here because that is the first third if not a little bit longer of the movie till yes. this happens maybe maybe up to halfway i'm not entirely sure i think it's about halfway and, yeah. and i was i was into it and i was like that's fine we're gonna get to the action because the last two movies have set mm. up as no, no no we get to the action in the third act and it's always been worth it in those last two or at least to me it has yeah and it you get to the halfway point, Ghidorah's coming through the portal, he destroys the ship, all the other human beings on the ship are all dead. Right? And, and I'm pretty excited as to what's going on here, right? Right, and he's coming through, and I didn't like when Hario goes to confront, what's his name, uh, Metfis, who's like, you know, yeah. and it turns out, like, Ghidorah killed his planet, and the few of them that were spared are spared because they're now prophets who go around and, like, you know, essentially prep, you know, the people, because he needs... Uh, Hario to open the door for the real Ghidorah to come through into this world because he's from another dimension. That's the other thing. He's not from like yeah. this dimension. He's from an alternate reality, <laughs> which I'm okay with. Yeah, it was just fine. Yeah, yeah, the... No, it's it's a different take, but it's fine. That right? detail on it on its own is fine. The fact that that detail then stops us from ever getting real Ghidorah because we just have these three heads yeah, that's, instead. That's bullshit. Don't because know. the most exciting the fight ever got was when the three heads like sort of entangled Godzilla because it looked really cool. It was a really nice image. It did, yeah. And then we, he just sits there tangled for like the, the, most of the third act. <laughs> Not, like nothing happens until one atomic breath attack at the end. Yeah, at least he still gets that that sound effect of the Godzilla roaring. I do love that sound effect. I mean, sure, but th this was such a whimper. And yeah, it because then, then it kept cutting back to Harry inside his head and Memphis is just showing him various things, showing him like parts of his life and. Um, and I thought it was going to, I didn't mind it at first because I thought, okay, it's going to quickly get to a point and it'll advance to why the fight didn't. happens. Yeah. And it didn't. And then he actually saves the day by resisting Ghidorah in his head and then that's it. And I'm like, this is straight up bullshit. This is straight up bullshit. Yeah. So, I got nothing, I'm sorry. And all of that. So, his love interest, Hario's love interest is in a coma because of the, the nanites from Mecha Godzilla City from the second one, yes. right? She's still technically alive, but she's on on a on a altar dying. He strikes up a romance with one of the because you know how there's always two Mothra girls, and in the last movie there was only one, but the twist in this one is there actually is two. They've just been kind of swapping around, yeah. Um, which I kind of like actually. I mean, yeah, that part's okay, but the one who originally woke him up at the end of the first movie uh, is in love with him, and. Uh, well, in fact, both of them, I think, are in love because the other one tries to have sex with them and he kind of stops her and then yeah. realizes, wait a minute, she couldn't take off my suit, but the one who got me up at the end of the first movie had already done that. So there's two of them. And then he gets the other one pregnant. <laughs> yeah. He gets Human the, race has got to continue somehow. He gets the other one pregnant and then commits suicide at the end of the film. What? <laughs> what? He he takes he takes his original love interest, uh, Suki, I think her name was. Was it Suki? 
y- Yuko. Where did I get Suki from? Suki's from True Blood. Uh, y- Yuko. He gets Yuko, who's still in a coma, takes her into the one working mech suit, yeah. and then flies it into Godzilla, suicide bomber style, and dies. That's the end of the movie. <laughs> After he's impregnated someone else. Yeah. Why am I supposed to give a shit about this character now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got an answer for Look, you. Look, see, see if they wanted to do like a dark, like serious take where this is about the depression of a character who's obsessed with Godzilla that leads to suicide. I don't even necessarily hate the concept of that if you want to like tackle it that way. I don't think the rest of this trilogy in any way has set me up for this ending. <laughs> no, I agree. It's it's frustrating because two and a half of uh, bits of this trilogy are, are really good. Too, too great, depending on which bit you're at. And and then the last half of this movie just just ruins all of it. <laughs> it's just straight up diarrhea. I don't, I don't even know what else to call it. It's diarrhea. Uh, like it, it was this thing where I was I was enjoying the build up to Ghidorah, and then once that stuff started happening, I was still into it, and then it just it slowly rolled off a cliff to the point where I really yeah, it, it doesn't dive off a cliff. Yeah, it just it just you kind of realize, hang on, that was a cliff we went off five minutes ago. It, like because you realize it's not never going to do anything else and you, you just have this moment of oh wait shit i kind of hate this now yeah no i hate this is, movie it's, you know in a cartoon like wiley coyote goes off the cliff and he, he runs for like three or yeah, four yeah. seconds doesn't realize yeah that's what this is where i went i didn't realize we went off the cliff but we did <laughs> yeah and, and, and now it's shit no no it's terrible and i hate this i hate everything about this now yeah um uh, it's it's gonna make it really hard to when we get to the rating because I, I really like parts of this movie and like the first half I think there's a lot of really good ideas it's and not then... enough it's not enough it, it goes off the cliff too much no it does it does it ruins but it I don't want to say I don't want to say the movie as a whole is complete shite and give it a really low rating because there are redeeming qualities people who think Mass Effect 3 ruined the Mass Effect trilogy that's it that, they got nothing on this no, no, no that was 10 minutes out of 100 hours <laughs> Right, this this is forty five minutes out oh, of six. Four and tops. a half. Four and a half. Yeah. Are they all ninety minutes? That's one was ninety minutes. I think the last two were a similar length. I don't. I don't remember though. All right. All right let's, let's go with forty minutes out out of four and a half hours. Yes. Percentage is a lot higher. <laughs> uh, it's also a bigger problem in a movie because the story's all we've got in a game. I had the enjoyment of playing the whole thing and being in the world. Yeah, I've I've played and enjoyed games that, frankly, the story is shite or yeah, exactly. even non-existent because I can have fun playing it. Exactly. Like, like I love Resident Evil games. I mean, I enjoy the stories in those, but it's not like they're good, well-written <laughs> stories. They're, they're, they're arguably, at best, good B-movie stories. Yeah, they're, they're cheesy B-movie stories, right? Um... And then you have something like Resident Evil 4, which I think is even worse than the rest of the stories. But I still enjoy playing because it it's funny to play. That, that, that yeah. just, it has something else. This doesn't have something else. No. It has its that. visuals, but even then, once it starts doing all the main stuff, it's like, well, you know, can we go back to the kaiju and the, the, the big epic battle and stuff? I, I miss the mechs from, from the last movie. All that mech stuff looked great. Sure, mechs. There's so much stuff. And... Um, and there's a whole argument on the ship as well about punishing Haru for for, for doing what he did in the second movie, and it's kind of irrelevant. I, I guess it's just kind of there to show that the people in the in the ship are willing it's, to be led by this other. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things that makes sense at the time, right? Because yeah. when you're watching it, you're like, yeah, this makes sense they'd be having this conversation because that's where we left off, right? And then they all die. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but that, yeah, it doesn't do anything with it to justify it existing ultimately. Nor does anyone on the ground with Harry think he does need to be like disciplined or like that he's to blame for something. Yeah, it just kind of goes on uh, as if whatever. And I like. Yeah. I'm so disappointed in this movie. It's really I was bad. actually looking forward to this because I, you know, I thought, yeah, let's have an. I don't think it's the best, you know, trilogy ever. <laughs> Even if this had been good, it wouldn't have been like, oh, it's a fantastic trilogy, but. It was a solid, different take on Godzilla for the first two movies. And this one, I just, I don't know. I just, I'm disappointed. Yes, the rating IMDb does imply some agreement with us. <laughs> what, what, were the, what is the difference there between the last two movies? Because from, from what I've seen, 
we're more positive on those last two than a lot of other people are. Yeah, and the last one was a 5.9 average. Uh, right. This one's a 4.7. So. Okay, so it is still a drop. It's still a drop. Because I think 5.9 is quite harsh for that last movie, frankly. Um, I don't remember what I gave it. Um, in hindsight, I don't know what I gave it on the, at the time. In hindsight, I'd probably give it like a 7. I don't know if that's what I gave it at the time. I think I I gave it like a closer to an eight, and I'd probably still stick with that. But this one. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah, this one's nowhere near an eight, I can tell you that. The the blue ball, I I cannot believe that they didn't do like actual Ghidorah. I I cannot believe that he never eventually came through the portal as actually, you know, flying, three headed, lightning spewing Ghidorah. I, I know. I don't understand this movie. That, this is like the Fantastic Four movie when Galactus was a was like a cloud. Why? Yeah, whose decision was thought? Oh, that that's a good thing to do, and, right? And I, and I was fine with it at first because I, I thought it was just the prelude to actual Ghidorah, and yeah. it was fine. It's not until you get right towards the end where you realize what's going on, and you're like, "Hang on a second, they're actually not doing it." And it's it's animated. It's it's not even like it was going to cost more to do more fighting. It's animated. <laughs> Oh, I know it's costing them the same either way, right? That's yeah. one of the, the the objective benefits of animation is if you can draw it, you can do it, right? Or you know, if the computer can draw it, you can do it. It it, <laughs> it, it costs the same to really to do either or, right? For the most part, yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's some effects and stuff that probably cost more. But... Okay, yeah, a little bit, but generally speaking, it's it's pretty consistent. You're paying by the frame. frame. You're not paying by what's on yeah. the frame necessarily. Yeah. Um, I f- that sucked. <laughs> that sucked. I, I I have a hard time getting behind this. And the, the few survivors that are left are just kind of living with uh, the, the Mothra twins and their people. And that's just kind of society. And yeah. there's a weird implication as well that Hario does, wants to kill himself because he knows, because he learns from uh, uh, Metfist that, you know, eventually, like, civilizations always advance the technology until they get to the point where they create a monster, right? And that's yeah. their own undoing. Which is something that's been going through the trilogy, and it has been a good idea throughout, in my opinion. And he decides to, like, take the, the one working mech and, like, destroy that and kill himself by doing a suicide dive at Godzilla. So he's also kind of ensuring that, at least for a long time, they'll, they'll spend longer and effective with the Stone Age. T- you know, yeah. I mean, I suppose arguably further than that because they already have knowledge of technology. But you know, what yeah, I mean? yeah. But th- there is a thing where it's like, hey, we can get back to where we were. We Very can pick quickly. up right where we yeah. left off, give or take. You Whereas know. now they're going to have to actually spend time, you know, you know, doing simple like inventions yeah. and ideas. You know, okay, we'll do like a little dam. We'll do this. We'll do that. You know, it's going to take them a while to get to electricity because they're going to have to think yeah, it through. Yeah, yeah. Um. It's actually a really interesting question, actually, just to just to pivot this into a bit of thought thinking, is how long would it take for civilization to get to electricity if everyone, you know, all like you know, all the current like mechanics and scientists who are around had all their knowledge from the get go? Like, how long would it take? Uh, a lot less. But obviously, it's a lot less. But with none of the infrastructure, with none of the equipment already available, they have to build everything from scratch. Yeah, and, and this is quite interesting in, in terms of this movie and the, the world that's in where the infrastructure is there, it just doesn't work necessarily, but there are there, there are things they can look at and understand and, and reverse engineer, right? Oh, sure. Well, they don't so, really have mean, to though, right? Well, I mean, not necessarily. Because some I of mean, them know about these things. You know, some, the guy, some of them do, The yeah. guy fixing the mech suit clearly knows his shit. <laughs> he does, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, that's an interesting idea. Uh, and the implication seems to be that Godzilla kind of leaves them alone. He doesn't really care about them. It's just like, eh, I'm over here sleeping. They're not, they're not right. hurting the planet, so I'm not going to hurt them. Yeah. So, that's straight up. I think, I think, I think yeah, they nice short and sweet this one. What, what are you giving it? I don't know. Because I want to give it a, right, if, if five, five is an average film, everything about this script tells me it's below average. In terms of the back half of the movie, anyway. But there are ideas in the first half that I really like. Character things I like. Animation I really like. It's, so it's it still looks be... great. It, it, visually, it's an impressive trilogy yeah. of movies. But So it's not going to be, like, really low. All of that alone is enough to be, like... Well, I mean, it's still technically decent, right? Um, I am going to go to, like, a four. Where it's just... It's just 
it's bad but not awful because of things like the animation pulling it up i'm gonna give it a three out of ten and the technical qualities i don't give a shit about i was angry well, that's fair i got angry I, I can't argue. and like it does look nice it still looks good but ultimately i don't care because i was angry um so i'm giving it a three out of ten this this is this is a major whiff i don't i don't i can't even begin to think the the thought process that went into the the final act of this movie yeah. so um that is godzilla the planet eater unfortunately a negative end to something that we at least liked a fair bit I, not everyone did but no I, I think we were we were liked it more than a lot of people did but i mean i think it's fair to say this is easily the worst yeah so yeah so as i said there's a godzilla playlist you can look at all of our other godzilla reviews um we get k of the monsters so, this year so, some of those godzilla movies are worse than this one a lot of them aren't though a lot of them are better a lot of them are better but i just i just want to point out that as angry as you are at this and it's still not the worst godzilla movie it's not there's, a, there's far less under this though than over it Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Because even some of the mediocre ones that are like at about a five, like they're still better than oh, this. Oh, they're better than this, yeah. I just, yeah. I just want to be clear, this isn't the worst one. So yeah, so I mean, yeah, the clip show one, if nothing else, is always yeah, going well, to be worse. Like, I, yeah, I would hate to see what movie I would rank lower than that clip show one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know what that movie is. It's you, called you, Blood Rain. Even even if Tommy Wiseau shows up to direct a Godzilla movie, that will at least have some entertainment quality to it. <laughs> I would hope so. I uh, know, it's Godzilla. Everyone run for your lives. I want to watch this movie now. Ah, Atomic Breath. Lisa, it's like you. <laughs> um, this, you say this like it's a bad thing. That sounds amazing. <laughs> hey, Godzilla, could you, could you aim that at Mark? He, he cheated on me with my, my, my love I'm, of my life. I'm pretty sure you are describing the best Godzilla movie ever made. <laughs> Could, uh, could I could I ride on your back, please? <laughs> Just imagine Tommy Wiseau riding in Godzilla. I, I'm a force of nature, like I, you. I'm imagining <laughs> flying in on Mothra, jumping <laughs> off and landing on Godzilla's back and riding Godzilla. All with that piano theme from the start of the room playing. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. I can't do it. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't hum that piano theme. But... <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I'm just imagining the start of the movie where it comes up saying Toho Productions and then it fades into the, the Wiseo logo. <laughs> what, a, what a weird combination. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let us know what you thought of the movie if you're unfortunate enough to have watched it. Uh, like and subscribe, all that stuff. If you want to support us, you can also support us by going over to patreon.com slash mailfuzztv and giving us uh, some financial support over there for as little as a dollar per month. Uh, you can feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. Um but otherwise that is us so thank you once again for watching or listening we always appreciate it keep watching movies guys and we will see you next time